particular vial of bourbon is just full of bright golden sunshine. It's just this one. I this is the one I would choose. I think just just from not going back and forth at all, just from having it be the third one in our run. Now I'm not choosing it because you said that, and it'll look like I'm just going along with you. My, my front runner for right this now. is reverse psychology where you tell me to pick the worst one you know there's there are there are there are guys out there who would believe that too the the uh, the bourbon conspiracy theorists that think that you're trying to sell me all the shitty ones out of your inventory no i mean i'm trying these for the first time just as long as you uh, uh, just along with you just the same the same uh, way that you are so this high west is... saloon i'm definitely going to blend these all together at the end absolutely a hundred percent um, but this one is just... We are back recording again, by the way, just FYI. We're good to go. Okay, great. Great. So what I was saying is that, um, just in case you missed it, that this one is... Do did, did you think the recording caught that? that uh, it started right when you said that, the honey flask. Oh, my God. I just it's, I just love... There's just I, I have never been able to put my finger on what exactly it is that I'm tasting in bourbon, but it's it is just bright... Golden Sunshine is a, a flavor component to bourbon to me, and this one is leaning the most heavily into that particular flavor component. I so Jamie Stream, who I know is listening, can you comment, what if I like all three? That's the question. What if I want all three of them? Okay. Well, uh, maybe I don't know that. That is a Jamie Stream. I don't want to like. Oh, I'm gonna put her on. The, I'm gonna put Jamie Stream on the spot like, live. What's going on? But I, I, you don't have to answer that, Jamie. You can text me later. Two. Huh? But let's talk to Jamie about it. Okay. About getting all three. I mean, this is ooh, so jammy, so warm. It just it gives you. You know, one of the things I like to talk about with bourbon that I think is such a clever thing is um, is that it gives you what I like to call a Kentucky hug. You know, so it's there's this warming feel in your chest that you get from drinking bourbon. And some bourbons will hug you just like they're in quarantine with you. They see you every day. They'll just kind of pat you on the back a little. And some will hug you like they haven't seen you in 10 months, you know, and like they just have missed you so much. And I feel like um, the warmth of Knob Creek. Hi, Bubba. Oh, my gosh, that face. They're so different from each other. This cat is 30 pounds. Oh my god. It's like the scene in Star Wars where the debt where the where the where the Empire's cruiser goes by and it takes like an hour. <laughs> I know. Come on. That's exactly what's going on right now. But this one I feel like the the Knob Creek gives you such a beautiful, warm Kentucky hug. It's just something that, you know, loves on you and it's just like, oh God, I haven't seen you in so long and I've missed you. But this one in particular, I'm getting such a nice hug from it. It's just really quite lovely. Mondo, I will name one after you and your kid. <laughs> okay, well, also, so let's call this, we'll call this the, the pecans. And we'll call this one the Werther's Original, and we'll call this one the Mondo Bright Golden Sunshine. That's my buddy Armando, who's commenting <laughs> down there. Armando Santos. That's a badass name. He's he um, he's the green eyed the 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 green eyed Latino boy toy. <laughs> That's his real name. Mm. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna I mean not to like. In all honesty, I, I think that the third one's my least my least favorite of the three. Not that I don't like it, but to go back to like the things that I want, I want like richness and baking spices. Uh -huh. I love the toasted nuts, the candy pecan. I really yeah. like the Werther's original. Yeah, I agree with you. I just and, and also from a consumer perspective, in terms of what I think people will want they everybody wants the thing that tastes the oldest the thing that tastes the richest yes. the thing that tastes the smoothest the thing that tastes the creamiest like that's just what's going to get people pumped up to go buy a barrel i agree with you i think one of the things that we have here is that we have three gorgeous samples right like we've narrowed it down to these three beautiful specimens 
uh, you know, for a reason. I feel like these are, they are so lovely. Um, you know, while I might prefer the third one, I love these two. <laughs> I mean, this one I clearly love. That was the word that was original, and it's almost gone. So, and I love the pecans. I mean, to me, they all represent wonderful pieces of Knob Creek and what makes Knob Creek so special. Uh, you know, that pecan flavor, that robust combination of, of characters, that kind of Werther's original ease. That is the one thing I would say if I was, if, if we take number three out of the equation, we remove bright golden sunshine and we're, we're going between pecan bomb. And, and that is, oh no, that, like, that is the youngest one. Mm-hmm. So let's, we'll talk about these other two, Pecan Bomb and Warther's Original. I feel like those two are the two that, um, you know, it just, they're giving us really approachable bourbon notes. You know, that, who doesn't want to sit around and sip on a Warther's Original? <laughs> I know. No, absolutely. And like, you're, Kiki, come on. <laughs> who doesn't want to sit, sit down and not just sip on pecans, but candy pecans that are coming from, you know, like rolled in baking spices. So I guess that's where we're at is do we want something a little bit more complex in terms of the richness and the robust nature of the baking spices? Or do we want something that's a little bit more approachable in terms of the caramely goodness of the that butterscotch kind of jam that you would get from, you know, butterscotch candy? It's so real honey notes too in there. I would say it's really quite lovely. I'm gonna throw myself another little drink. We tasted these oldest to youngest. Mm-hmm. Or no, we, no, actually, we didn't. We uh, we tasted highest proof to lowest proof. Right. Which is not oldest to youngest. Shouldn't I just pick the oldest one? Because that's what everybody knows is better. You I'm know, totally, I'm totally is, teasing you. I was just going to say, that <laughs> is something that, you know, as I was talking about maturation before, that, you know, you can go too old in bourbon, uh, where you really can't do that in some other, you know, categories. Scotch is a perfect example. It, you know, there's nothing finer than a 25, 30 year old scotch. It's such a lovely experience. Uh. But, uh, you know, with bourbon, you can go a little too old but again it really sort of matters more where they are in the rec house and how they're interacting with the weather i just remember tasting at four roses one time and there was another retailer there before us and they just went in with a list and said what are the three oldest ones and they just picked those and they didn't even taste and they just walked out and i like exercises like this where they're all pretty much the same thing and like you would have to you have to decide on flavor you have to pick the one that flavor you know, flavor-wise, is the most interesting to you. And I think, you know, one thing that's kind of fun that I'd like to bring up now that I think a lot of people don't realize about bourbon making is that, and for sure, with us, I mean, it's such an old company, and Beam Suntory is a big company that came together six years ago. And uh, so the Global Kind of Innovation Center is at the Claremont Distillery, and we have an unbelievable collection of scientists who are maturation scientists they, they literally went to school for all of the science in the world and they could tell you like if they're smelling something they wouldn't be like oh it smells like the cons they'd be like oh it smells like h2 mm -hmm. q whatever you know what i mean so they they're the ones who can really break down those flavor profiles we got a cat named don mcgrew who's just great he's the head of that he's our top scientist there he's oops Time. We've got Fred No, who's our master distiller, who when he talks about Don McGrew, he's like, yeah, he's just over there in the rag house sniffing bungholes all day because, he's, you know, he's got his nose in every barrel, and he's really making sure that regardless of where it is in the rack house, that if it's in the Knob Creek section of the rack house, that it's going to taste like Knob Creek when it's done. Right. Um, so these ones, you know, all of them having nine summers under their belts, these beautiful whiskeys, um, you know, we can't go wrong really, in any of these. And I personally would love to see you take all three. All right, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to say number one choice, warehouse two, floor four, rack 74, which Great. is, of all the casks, the closest to the center. I will show you 
the yeah. diagram. Right bang on center. Yeah. yeah. Almost. It's like right there. It's like, yeah. you know, that's the dead center, and then it's just like right there. The right yeah. bank. Um, I'm going to go with that as the number one. Okay. That is, that's the pecan bomb. Pecan bomb. Number one, pecan bomb. I Probably, love it. Uh, it's getting too close to dry food time. Okay, that's number one. Tommy, you see this cat's heart? This cat has a literal heart on his side I see him. for Valentine's Day. I love him so much. <laughs> that's I our rescue so cat. We got him out of a tree uh, earlier during COVID. Oh, All right. I love him so much. <laughs> number two is going to be also close to center. And that is going to be Rick 9, Floor 4, Tier 1. Okay, perfect. And then third choice, if I can take them all on a take-all special, will be... Right, Golden Sunshine. Golden Sunshine, Floor 4, Rick 31, Tier 2. That is the furthest to the outside. I love it. I so love I'm going to do that strategy. The closest to the center and then out. Great, I love it. And that's perfect, and I love that we're going to get a pecan bomb, for sure, at least. We'll talk to Jamie about getting a couple of the other barrels as well, but I love that the pecan bomb is coming to Southern California. I will be first in line to buy this <laughs> once a bottle at 120 proof. This is such a lovely whiskey, and uh, I'm going to pour myself a little bit of it here, just to say cheers to you. We've selected a barrel. Thank you Thank for you doing this questions. with me. Yeah. Um, that's it. I'm going to uh, upload this now that it's two movies, thanks to Tommy the Cat, who has decided that 35 minutes was the the end game for him. <laughs> I love Tommy the Cat. Yeah. Tommy the Cat is welcome anytime, any day. <laughs> Whoever you bring your dog over to the backyard, we'll sit outside and they can look at each I other through the screen. Jamie was telling me that you had uh, her and our Maker's Mark ambassador over to your backyard recently, and I was really super jealous. Well, next time um, you can come. No, we did the Maker's Mark 46 stave blend in my backyard. It was it was a good time. Very nice. Oh, wait. I've got puppies here. Oh, oh puppy. Wow. I'll, so I'll turn the cool. camera over here. We've got Cat looking out the window. Kiki Aww. is right behind the camera, huh? Keek. Keek the sneak. <laughs> His face is so close. They're so good. Anyways. Saturday in Spanish, and I just thought we'd name our dog after the best day of the week. That's a great name. My favorite thing. You didn't uh, name your cat Lunas for the best day of the week? <laughs> nope. I'm no Saturday dog. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amanda, for doing this with us, and thanks, everybody, for watching. Oh, no. Hold on. My oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look who's getting whacked. Are you waving, Kiki, or are you trying to whack me? Look at this. Look at this shit. She's fucking whacking me. All right. Bye, Amanda. <laughs> All right. Bye. Congrats on the barrel. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <I see her. laughs>